welcome back everyone, Toishes here, and it is that magical time of the year. Once again, the leaves are a change in color, the pumpkin spice is a spicin', and yes, it is New York Comic Con 2024, a season already. And today, thanks to my friends over at NECA Toys, we have an early look at several of their brand new NYCC 2024 exclusives. Kicking it off with the Ben Cooper Halloween Kids line, we have a brand new entry in the form of the Glow in the Dark Skeleton girl so it's going to have that glorious packaging it's the same size packaging as we have seen with all the other releases but now it kind of glows in the dark as well as the figure so whether or not you pull it in or out you'll be able to see it but the packaging is quite supoib on the back side you get to see every single figure released thus far including this new exclusive which is very cool to see but i'm blown away at how many they already have out. Here's everyone involved with the creation of this figure, so thank you very much for that. And here's the barcode. Like I said, this is an NYCC 2024 exclusive. Now, over on the Universal Monsters end of things, we have this Remco Retro-inspired classic for the Invisible Man. And much like the Skull Girl, this too glows in the dark. It's a whole monster motif for the Halloween spooky season. And yes, whether or not you leave him in the packaging or take him out, he will glow like a son of a gun. On the back side, you get to see again everything that they have released thus far for the universal monsters quite a few quite a few glow in the dark ones as well but hey that's quite the monster mash here's everyone involved with the creation of this figure and again thank you very much for that but out of these three we're going to be looking at today if you are a teenage mutant ninja turtles fan especially well, me thinks this is going to be right up your alley because this is, in fact, an action figure for the creator, Kevin Eastman, and it looks pretty cool. You open up the flappy opening box right there on one end. You get to see photos of Kevin Eastman. On the other, you get to see the figure with all of his accessories. Now, the packaging is quite interesting. It looks like a New York City dumpster. You have really cool callbacks like the foot stinks and Danny was here along with a graffitied Ninja Turtle face. On the backside, you'll get several photos of this action figure doing all its action figure things with all its action figure accessories. This has some really cool accessories in it, just as a heads up for later on in the video. And on the bottom of said dumpster packaging, you get to see everyone involved with the creation of this figure. So once again, thank you very much for that. All of these are, like I said, New York Comic Con 2024 exclusives. And how do you get these? What's the dealio on that? Well, if you are going to New York Comic Con 2024, you can grab them at the NECA booth on the sales floor every day that the convention is going on, or at least until supplies run out. For those of you not going, the good news is starting today at 9 a.m. Pacific, 12 p.m. Eastern, over on the NECAstore.com, you can grab these figures, along with a t-shirt. The t-shirts weren't ready in time for this video, but rest assured, they will be ready in time for New York Comic Con. So if you want these, head over to the NECAstore.com, grab them, or best yet, if you're going to New York Comic Con, you can head over to the NECA booth and pick them up for yourself. But in the meantime, this is going to be an absolute blast. So sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is an early look at three of the brand new New York Comic Con 2024 exclusives. The Glow in the Dark Remco Retro Inspired Invisible Man, the Glow in the Dark Skull Girl, and one half of the TMNT creative team, Kevin Eastman, his ultimate action figure by NECA Toys. And right before we get started, I just want to say a quick thank you to everyone who continues to tune in and watch my YouTube channel, along with all my other social media outlets. I very much appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel already, would love to have you around. But in the meantime, let's get to talking about these figures. The Skull Girl comes with a Halloween jack-o'-lantern trick-or-treat bucket. It's well done. It's got a little handle to it. The handle does not move. It's got a little paint for the face. And yes, there is some glow-in-the-dark elements to it. It's not as bright as the figure, but hey, that's cool that it is there. The actual figure itself, much like I've said over and over with all the videos I've done on these Ben Cooper kids, 
This is a very fun line. It's the totality of the packaging, the old school vintage nature, the costumes that the kids wear. Everything is really well done. All of the paint is well applied. The smock costume itself has some great imagery on it. It's just a lot of fun. There's nothing mind-blowing in terms of the articulation. It's going to be the standard. We've seen it before. Plenty of articulation. The head, the arms go really easy with the feet, I always say, with the costume. You don't want to inadvertently pull anything too quick, have it tear, have it rip. Not that it's brittle, but always be on the safe side. You got plenty of rotation in the feet, peg holes on the bottom if you get some stands to stand them. And I would say that all of these will make for a great Halloween diorama setup. That's what I will be doing this year. But the best part, even though we have seen this figure before, it now glows in the dark. And glow in the dark, gloriously, she do. It's really cool to see this. Elements of the mask, elements of the costume, and a little bit of the bucket. The camera's not picking that up as much as the costume and the mask, but rest assured, it's very faint, but it is there. And I have to say, just overall, it's very spooky. It's very much in keeping with the fall, Halloween, New York Comic Con, all of that just really gels together for a great comic-con exclusive next up we have the remco retro inspired invisible man and yes i did take him off the card i gotta show you the articulation and everything else but between you and i if you are after this convention exclusive i would say that for most of you collectors out there he might be best left on the card back i think that's the big draw of this figure he's not going to have any accessories, hands, heads, nothing extra just like that. He is mainly supposed to be a callback, a nostalgic nod to Halloween days of old. You'll get the same exact articulation, plenty in the head, the suited body, the arms. There, again, nothing crazy here, but it's just the idea that it makes for a fun convention exclusive. Maybe you're walking around New York Comic Con, you go by the NECA booth, you go, oh, you know what? Yeah, I'm here now. I'll just get it and add it to my Universal Monsters collection. And that's really how I see this convention exclusive. But in totality, while it's lacking on the accessories, we'll just say it's part of the retro inspired fun, especially since it glows in the dark. So you will have the hands that glow and you'll have the head portrait that glows that's pretty cool. So like I said, if you're after this guy, New York Comic Con 2024 is where it's at. Which finally leaves us with half of the TMNT creative team, Kevin Eastman himself. Now, for those of you unfamiliar in the old original TMNT movie, this was a deleted scene. Kevin Eastman is supposed to make a cameo. He's supposed to play Garbage Man. He comes with a garbage bag. It sits upright. It's very cool. It's got squishy material in there. And yes, it's exactly what it looks like. It's a garbage bag, which they totally have achieved here. He does hold said garbage bag if you want to display him in this fashion. So that's good at least. But for me, it's really the pencils and the clipboard with the sketches of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles that really solidifies this as a very fun figure. You get four pencils. Don't lose them. They're very teeny tiny. He holds everything beautifully. That's what I want to see for a Kevin Eastman figure. But this right here, and I'm going to tell you right now, don't let me spoil this for you. On the front, Lairdman Island, New York City. This is not the spoiler. So I'm going to give you a couple seconds here to click off because I really want you to go to New York Comic Con or get the figure in hand, open up the box and discover this for yourself. So Ready? You still got time to leave. Three, two, one. Okay, basically, you've had enough time. This is what it is. So, Lairdman Island on one side, and then when you flip it over, which is just the coolest thing ever, you have the placard that they recently installed in Dover, New Hampshire, as the birthplace of Kevin Eastman and Peter Laird's TMNT. This is a beautiful recreation. It's awesome. One day I hope to go to Dover, New Hampshire and see this for myself, but this will do in the meantime. So you have 28 Union Street, Dover, New Hampshire. It goes across the top. 1984, birthplace of Kevin Eastman and Peter Laird's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. You got the silhouette of the turtles. And then as you kind of turn it right here, it says the birthplace of Mirage Studios. So through and through, as a beautiful love letter 
to Kevin Eastman, and definitely we now need Peter Laird, so we got to make that happen too. But as far as Kevin's figure is concerned, great accessories, a great wink and a nod to a deleted scene. It's just a lot of fun. They absolutely nailed this. And oh yeah, there is an action figure that we need to talk about as well. And I think what NECA has really done here is capture the look of the 80s, 90s Kevin Eastman. I love the hair, the mustache. That is a lot of fun. I think that they really, you could tell NECA Toys has a lot of fun with this line and we're definitely having a lot of fun collecting it. It says Kevin right there on his name tag, which is very cool. You have his open collared shirt, which has a great pattern. It goes along the sleeves, the rest of the garbage man uniform down to the feet, nicely painted shoes, peg holes, on the bottom. It's a very simplistic figure, but it really does the trick in bringing Kevin Eastman into the movie line, and they've definitely achieved that in spades. Now, again, the articulation is not going to be mind-blowingly crazy. It does enough to get him into all those Kevin Eastman poses that I'm sure that you're going to want to pose him in. Plenty of articulation in the elbows, which are single-jointed. They will spin. He got some wrist articulation, so he can get to drawing forever and ever on your toy shelf if you so choose. He got a little bit of a waist to him. He will spin and sort of rock. The legs will kick out. You have single-jointed knees. The knees will spin left and right, and then down to the shoes, up, down, left, and right. And I thought that was pretty cool. As it kind of dip the shoes down you can see more of the laces it's just cool the detail that NECA toys goes into it's refreshing and i have to say at all the figures we've looked at recently this is pretty darn cool but me thinks that if you're going for this guy on your shelf this is definitely going to be the money shot especially for photographers out there having all the turtle bros around as he's sketching each and every one of them that is just so cool. It's great to be able to bring this to life on your shelf. And within this year, not only have we now gotten Kevin Eastman as an action figure, we also got Jack Kirby as an action figure. So if you know the history of Eastman and Laird and Jack Kirby, this is a great melding on your toy shelf. My God, have action figures really become amazing. This is so much fun. So that is going to wrap it up for my quick look at some of the brand new NECA Toys NYCC 2024 exclusives. And again, thank you to my friends over at NECA for sending these out for the purposes of this video. There will also be a t-shirt. The t-shirts weren't ready in time for this video, but rest assured they will be ready come New York Comic Con in October. How do you get these again? In case you missed it, you can go to New York Comic Con, go to the NECA booth and pick these up for yourself, or you can head over to the NECAstore.com, 9 a.m. Pacific, 12 p.m. East, and every single day it resets, it goes until supplies run out. So hopefully, if you want any of these, you'll be able to pick them up easy peasy. So you've heard my thoughts, and now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything NYCC 2024. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most important, remember, yes, I will be attending New York Comic Con 2024 this year. It's my first NYCC, and I'm very excited. Should be a blast. And when it is, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.